Thank you and welcome to the studio specific moments from Norway. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, since we don't have the whole band here, could you introduce each other and maybe as well as telling something normal about each other, could you tell us like a dirty secret about <laughs> each other? <laughs> Which one to start? You can start. I'll tell about him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very good. So, uh, Frederick, a dirty secret about you. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be careful while on air, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one's listening. Go ahead. Nobody no, would know is listening. Nobody, no one. There you go. <laughs> now, nah, dirty secret about Frederick. Oh, he likes to drink. How he much? He likes to drink. He's a good drinker. I can't keep up anymore. Uh, what's his favorite drink? He's, he's he keeps up with the Finnish people. Oh, he that's does. saying a lot. Mm. <laughs> he's strong there, right? I'm half Irish. Even I can't do that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Um, what's the most drunk you've ever seen him, and what did he do? Oh, the most when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. it starts out pretty good. <laughs> it is very good. It was. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was just fun to see yeah. him walk. Well, you walked into a light post, a light like. Uh, oh. But it was funny though because he was already the light post was like 15 meters away, and you could see it. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna hit that. He's gonna hit that light post. It was going like this, <laughs> and stop and boom into the light post. So that was funny actually. Yeah. Do you still have the scars from that? It's just mentally. Oh yeah, the mental <laughs> scar never yeah. heals. <laughs> because I have a, have a very very sad, um, it's a very sad thing. I always remember everything that happened. Yeah. So there's no blackouts. So I, I always ha know what happened. So I have so many memories to be shameful of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's painful. <laughs> Not that for is us. painful. <laughs> Not for us. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's enjoyable for the others. Yeah. Well, now you go. It's your turn. For him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's half Irish. And it's it's a loads of loads of like uh, stuff come when when he gets drunk. Mm -hmm. he has yeah, it's all about he, the drunk. Members. Yeah, he has, he has a tendency to to want to rank up who in the band he would most easily uh, get a hold, like knockouts. <laughs> so he has okay. ranked he has ranked us. So our drummer Kenny, he's uh, he's. Uh, of Asian descent, yeah. So it's gonna have most problem with him. He say, he say, <laughs> right? <laughs> because, okay. Because he's Asian, right? <laughs> yeah. So he's number one on the list. <laughs> no, that's the hardest one. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then and then it's Ben, yeah. which mm -hmm. is a bass player, and uh, he's ranking he's ranking him as number two because he's ferocious. Like. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be the easiest one, but he also has problem with me because he thinks I have puppy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be hard to punch me, but he will no have no problem of knocking me out if he if he had the first uh, punch. Well, yeah, and you're gonna be so drunk that you're not <laughs> gonna you be go. much of an. <laughs> That's true. That's it's true. Because I know you that about you now. Mm. Time you get physical scars, right? <laughs> we want to know about your hometown in Norway, because for me it's like a mythical place. I've never been there, but I have this image that it's such a beautiful city. And, and tell us about. Oh, Bergen is yeah. really nice. Really nice. It's much smaller than Helsinki, mm -hmm. but it's uh, so very much located in the center, city center, and it's you can have everything from. Old architecture down the. Have you seen pictures of Bergen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that the docks. It's so beautiful. So it's beautiful there, and you have the fish market, which is the big thing for tourists. Yeah. But if you're from Bergen, yeah, it's not necessarily the best. But then you have the tall mountains you can go to as well, and it's really nice. But the musical environment there is the, for me, is one of the best things because they're all about helping each other. Hmm. Yeah. What's the sort of cultural scene there like? It's very good. I, uh, we have a lot of a lot of good musicians in Bergen. For being such a small town, we have a lot of good like whoever you want to listen to. <laughs> we have actually like Kaigo is really big, and we have Alan Walker, Alan Walker, DJ, mm. Aurora. They're all from Bergen, or they're based in Bergen at least. Mm. Do you hang out with them? Do you know them? Do you hang out with Sigrid? <laughs> no. no. Well, I only spoke with Sigrid once. I was on a plane to Finland. To Finland, actually. First yeah. time I went to oh. Helsinki, I met Sigrid huh? on the plane. Yeah, we sat talking the whole way. But that was before she uh, she came out with uh, the song "Don't Kill My Vibes," so she wasn't known yet. So I didn't know her sh who she was. But there's a good, it's a good scene there. It's a yeah. really good scene for uh, music musicians because they all help each other. Right? There's not dog eat dog, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta be the best one and beat everyone down. So no, you're you're help you're, you're you're lifting each other up. It's very when we went to Abbey Road, um, the guy we worked with there, he was like. So what's happening in Bergen? Why is there so much quality music coming out of that small city? Hmm. And and we um, and we talked about this this uh, this um, like 
if you have some friends that are playing in a band and you're having a concert, uh, you're, you're bringing them along with you and then they're going to bring you along with them and you're going to lift your, lift each other up and into the musical scene. So, so like each 10 years we get something called the Bergen Wave mm -hmm. in Norway. Yeah. And that's like, that's like when all the, all the radio channels are dominated by Bergen musicians that helps each other up and everyone just hits it off together. That's so nice. Yeah. Sort of a hippie community. It's hippie perfect. community. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very <laughs> nice community. Really nice. <laughs> Sounds like paradise. Um, I have to ask you, you just casually name-dropped Abbey Road Studios a while ago there. <laughs> so you recorded there too. What is it like? And what's? I've never been inside Abbey Road Studios. Is it like mythical as well as Bergen? I, I, say, I was saying it's magical, <laughs> mythical. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's scary yeah, it's when scary, you see the walls yeah. there. There's a lot of... There's a lot of pictures there from like gold records where everything from Rolling Stones to I think Bob Dylan was on the wall, Radiohead, his favorite band, mm. Sting, my favorite artist. And it's like you're walking in greatness, I guess. And then who are you guys? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hello. The first time we went over there, they were actually, it was they were recording and we could hear this like, this um, orchestral music coming through the walls. And we asked them, so what are you recording for? And uh, he was like, "Oh no, they're they're recording the soundtrack for the new Marvel movie, mm. Infinity Wars." Yeah, <laughs> so, oh, we got to walk through as well. <laughs> yeah, so anything could happen when you're yeah, Abbey Road. you are there. If I went to Abbey Road Studios, I would definitely steal something before I left. <laughs> Did you steal anything? Mm, did we on air? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No one's listening. <laughs> nah, we we didn't we didn't, we didn't we didn't steal anything. I would take something from the toilet or like we, we, search for Paul McCartney's hair <laughs> on the floor or something. <laughs> but no, no. But we did actually. We we each of us each of us went to, into the toilet while while the Infinity Wars uh, yeah. music was being played, and we're having a dump. So maybe you could hear like a trace of we, we, you yeah, hear you hear just on whoop. the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen really if carefully. If you listen very, very, very closely while you're watching the movie, maybe you heard like a... <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. Before this conversation gets out of hand completely, um, tell us where we could see you live in Helsinki oh, pretty soon. Good. Yeah, we're playing on uh, On The Rocks, Yeah, huh? Helsinki. Uh, the 26th on Wednesday and we're mm -hmm. playing with two Finnish bands, amazing bands called Colibra mm -hmm. and Hades. Yeah. And it's so much fun because we're staying here for a week and we're basically going to live in a studio, which the guy from Colibra, one of the band members, he he's working in that studio, Art Lab Studios, which and we went there now. It was amazing. Yeah, it's a very, very nice studio. So we're joined by them on uh, Wednesday. And you will have a cool week. You'll be here all week. Yeah, all so week. So if our listeners want to take you somewhere, they could just <coughs> get in touch and you'll have a summer adventure with them. Definitely. Yeah, sure, sure. If you you can call, uh, hook us up on... Uh, Tinder, on, uh, happen. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no, <on> put <laughs> your Tinder on now. Fa fa Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, Tinder, yeah, any yeah, app. Potato, potato. Anything goes, any app, <laughs> just download it. Hey, I heard you're going to play for us. Yeah, yes ma'am. Could you do it now? Yeah. Definitely. We'll just get our oh, instruments together. Yeah. And which song are we going to hear? We're gonna play the first one we actually wrote together yeah. as a band. Mm -hmm. Do I need a headphone for this or whichever way you like? Yeah. So it's called doing all the things. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I haven't played that many times acoustic wise. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Stage is all yours. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. The good things that happens every day Think of the bad things The time will wash away You see, I don't want to be that kind of guy Who always thinks the worst and keeps living a lie Instead of looking down, I want to see the sky Always smiling as time slips by now Number one, dancing with the class. 
rise up above Even when push comes to shove I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love Think of the nice times That brought you joy in every way Think of the hard times That made you who you are today Well I know it's kinda hard to stay positive When everywhere we turn there's monstrosities Focus on yourself, be the best you can be Your perspective defines your reality Looking out for number one Dancing with the class up above Even when push comes to shove I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love Thanks so much for having us here, Laura. <laughs> So it goes when people can find out One true thing and be a piece of mind Focusing on floss we didn't know we had Because the social media makes all look bad War, famine, killing and it's What news has shown us is the age of eight I'm not saying we should look at all atrocities But it's hard to breathe with negativity The world is filled with love and compassion But it's difficult to find all this bad news fashion When we're gonna see that all the things we need Are inside of us on our own TV Taking breath, looking to be a better me But bring life to this one love fantasy Faith in the people we can dance this Taking me back to the cause Let's make this big now Looking up for number one Dancing with the clouds up above Even when push comes to shove I'll be doing all the things that I love Looking out for number one Dancing with the clouds up above Even when push comes to shove I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love I'll be doing all the things that I love